everybody, Mark the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a wee green tag caddis. Uh, I think in America a lot of folk call this the Davy Watton caddis. Um, wet fly, but actually, I mean, I'm sure Davy himself would tell you this is a a fairly old pattern from the UK. Um, although it would be like his uh, pattern number one, I think, if if my memory serves correct for. You. His writings. Cadis number one. Anyway, as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be eligible for the giveaways. You can also subscribe below, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos, share the video, etc. Let's all appreciate it. So I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 14 uh, Kamazan B170 But use whatever your preferred wet fly hook is I'm going to start some Rusty Dunn uh, Uni 8 Aught And I'm going to just come back to you about the point of the hook And then I'm going to tie in a length of Globrite number 12 for my butt. Uh, you could use 11 or 13, it's up to yourself, whatever colour you prefer. I'm just going to catch this in. And I'm going to leave my tag end reasonably long. No, say an inch is enough. Take a couple of turns back the thread to just lock everything in and park it in front and I'm going to wind this back from the point down to say halfway between the point and the barb and come back catch this off and I'll pull the tag end over the top and catch it off as well. That just means it's never going to slip back. Trim away the waist. Now my rib has a small oval gold. We catch that in as well. Just draw it in until the waist piece is the same length as those butts. I'm just going to wind forward, tidying the run up. And you don't need to be super fussy, you're having a dubbed body here, so you've got a bit of leeway. Now, the body's hair's, hair's mask, and it's up to you how light or dark you want to go, depending on the sort of prevalent. Uh, this species you can grab hair either from up at the ear or like, down in the middle of the face or the cheeks, it's all slightly different shades. You can just mix it to get a colour that you think is nice, ideal for where you're fishing. I'm just going to dub this on and you don't need a ton. Just a fairly sparse amount. And I'll take my thread to the back. Get the double started and you can tighten it once it's on. Just wind forward in a nice, even, relatively slim body. Get any extra, just slough it away. I'll do the next flight. Then I'll take a full turn with my rib, and then I'll come up, let's say, four or five wraps. Get you up to here. 
catch it off. That's quite nice. Turn my weight. And, I mean, it's up to yourself. You could brush this, but it's quite sparsely dubbed as it is, and I don't think you really need to be too worried about um, bugging that out. It'll catch a fish as it is, and that'll scruff it up just plenty. The hackle I'm using is a brown partridge hackle, um, but really, you could use a speckled hen back, grouse, anything with that sort of mottled effect, and just choose again a hackle, a soft hackle that. Gives you the colour that you want, really. Um, I'm just going to get my hackle pliers. Get a bit more of the tip of this exposed. There we go. Just want a wee few more of the shorter fibres. So as I was saying, obviously the brown part is a nice sort of light to medium. If you want it darker, grouse is good. Brahma hen, dyed tan, anything like that. So just tied this in by the tip, and I'm going to be very sparse. One, two turns is loads. So there's one turn, round with a second. Catch it off by bending the feather over the stem. Two wraps. Now I'm just going to fold it back. Keep your thread tight, you can just break that away. And then, I'm just going to whip. Just draw anything back first. There we go. And then whip finish. Trim away the thread. And then a wee bit of varnish just on the head. And you've got an absolutely deadly spider pattern. You know, tie them in different sizes to suit, 10s down to about an 18. Adjust the colour, lighter or darker. These will catch fish everywhere. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Great lines guys, bye.